morning, Quadcopter 101 here. Um, a lot of my viewers are interested in doing aerial video, and they always come up with, uh, what quadcopter can I send up a GoPro on? Um, but really, beginners and intermediate flyers, you might want to reconsider sending up expensive GoPros on these quadcopters unless you want to risk losing them. Um, there are much cheaper... Um, lighter options that you can send up on these quadcopters uh, that you it might be a better idea to risk than uh, sending up on a costly GoPro uh, for instance this one here I'm going to start a series on these different cameras uh, for my channel here but this one here is called the Runcam HD camera uh, this little camera is more or less pretty darn close clone of the Mobius camera uh, it's but it's about $20 cheaper than a Mobius camera. I think it runs about $50. Uh, we're going to demonstrate it today. We're going to set it up on my tarantula here, and I'll show you. But again, its features, it operates almost exactly the same as a Mobius, and its uh, specs, you know, the video it produces is 1080p at 30 frames per second. It also has um, 720p at uh, 60 frames per second, you know, the same as a Mobius, and all these buttons work the same as a Mobius. Uh, this one here I, has a wide-angle lens, so we're going to see how well it works here on the tarantula. Also notice on the tarantula that I've included that uh, credit card mount that I've demonstrated on the SEMA X8C. It worked very well on the X8C. I want to see how well this works on the tarantula in reducing uh, video jello. Uh, the tarantula is a quadcopter that produces a huge amount of vibrations. Uh, and lots of jello. I want to see if this works at all on the uh, tarantula. So let's go for a flight with the Runcam HD on my Tarantula X6. Hope you enjoy the flight. Okay, the Runcam HD is recording. Quadcopter's bond. I'm going to intermediate. There's a slight breeze we got today. Let's go for a flight with the Tarantula X6 and the Runcam HD. Now this combination of camera, HD camera, and uh, the quadcopter, it's pretty darn low cost. We're talking about a hundred bucks total. Um, that's, you know, let's put this into a slow roast, rotate. You know, that's a hundred bucks total for the camera and the quadcopter. To give you HD aerial video, that's, I think that's a uh, pretty good uh, price, especially it's 1080p HD. Now there are a lot of other quadcopters that come with built-in cameras, um, but they're very generally low-quality cameras. And what I wanted to demonstrate is that you can actually get high-quality HD video. Now, let's put this in. Let's rotate. Is that pointed toward me? Uh, you can get high-quality HD video, and you really don't have to spend a bundle with a great quadcopter and a great camera. I like this uh, tarantula because of the range. Let's send it out 200 meters up the road here, or actually through the gully to demonstrate this, the range on this quadcopter. Actually, I should be going upwind if I'm gonna be doing range testing. Okay, I'm well past 100 meters right now. Turning, turning, turning. Not about 200 meters from my, my position here. Going upwind. I want to plot myself at an upwind position and just let the wind blow it back. I think that's about upwind enough. And this is the wind blowing it back toward me. And I will rotate as it comes back. Beautiful day here today. It's a little chilly out here in the desert for May. We had a weather system go through here. It cooled down the desert big time. Weather's calmed down now, the winds have calmed. And now I'm going to take advantage of this day to fly my quake up here. Oh, I had a little drop out there. About 100 meters above my position. I don't know if that might have been caused by the RF from the camera or not. 
but that's okay. Let's take it out horizontal. Let's go over this direction now. My wife's out walking around the desert here somewhere. I'm going to see if I can find her. There she is. <laughs> walking the dog. <laughs> Let's try a banking turn. So again, if you want to get into aerial video, you don't have to spend a bundle for about a hundred bucks total. Uh, well, maybe a hundred ten bucks total. You can get very good aerial video platform and a, a very good camera. And there are other clones of the uh, Mobius coming out. The Mobius has always been a little bit pricey, I thought. You know, it runs about seventy dollars. Um, but finally clones of that camera are coming out and as they do come out I'm going to try to get it get them to uh, demonstrate them here on the channel here again this is the run cam HD uh, one of the first clones I've seen of the Mobius and it seems to be a pretty darn good picture this thing produces uh, what I've been demonstrating at my home I was very impressed with a picture of this camera yeah, let's send this up again let's go into hover again And rotate during the hover. That tarantula. I always get a kick out of flying this thing. It's it's a very fast quad, I'll demonstrate. Very maneuverable. Hello there. And away we go. Let's go back to that gully again. Let's examine the gully here. Examining the gully with the Run Cam HD. I want to do a run up the gully if I can. It's kind of hard. It's a little bit distant from my position here. Okay, that should be good right there. I think that's going up the gully. Let's do a low level run toward B. And then we'll do one more climb and call it quits. Hello. Sending it skyward. There's the Sierra Nevada Mountains there. Covered with clouds. Set it up high, and then I'm going to do a rapid descent, and we'll call it a day. Set it up about 300 feet now. Getting a little bit high, so here we come down. Rapid descent for about 300 feet, I'm guessing. <laughs> and welcome back. Let's bring this in close. I don't want to walk over to it. Again, this was a flight with the Runcam HD video camera here. <laughs> hope you enjoyed the flight. Here's my Mobius, and there's my Runcam. Okay, hope you enjoyed the flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.